All right, good afternoon. John Patrick here, and I'm sitting out on my front porch on a beautiful southern afternoon. And I want to talk to you today about the weather in Charlotte on a month-by-month -month basis. So who am I? My name is John Patrick. I'm a full-time realtor here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've lived here for over 40 years, and I absolutely love the area. And I love showing people from all across the country the Charlotte area and helping them put down roots. So if I can help you, don't hesitate. Reach out, give me a call, give me a text, shoot me an email, send up smoke signals, I don't care. Just give me a call and let's have a quick conversation about how I can be of service to you. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you get notifications of any new content I release. Now you may be wondering why I'm sitting out here on my front porch and that is because it is September. When I'm recording this, it is currently 92 degrees out here. That is a little high for this time of year by averages. And my backyard is a baking sauna. But out here, I have a porch and a big tree give me some shade. And I thought it was a perfect place to chat with y'all about the weather on a month by month basis. So let's start with January, February. Those are typically gonna be the coldest months. I've got a little cheat sheet here where I've made some notes but that is typically gonna be the coldest months. Averages are 51 and 56 degrees, but because those are averages, you're gonna see that you're gonna have the days where it's 35, 33, 37 degrees, and then it's 60 something. And that's just the way averages work. And Charlotte is, precipitation wise, we're really consistent month by month of having about five to eight days of precipitation. So uh, I think April tends to be one of our drier months. I think October tends to be one of the wetter months. But the winter is relatively mild. There's only, as I recall, there's only about two days a year where it does not get over freezing. So the rest of the time, it might be cold, but at least it's over freezing. So one of the big questions I get, typically from people in Southern California or Florida, is what are the winters like? But I also get this question from people up in, say, Chicago or Ohio, uh, wondering what the weather is actually like down here in, in the winter. And, you know, yes, we, we get some snow. Uh, averages are 1.8 inches or 1.5 inches January or February. But what that means is, is it won't snow for years and then all of a sudden you'll get six inches problem with that is is that because it snows so infrequently down here our cities and our state DOT they really don't have the equipment to handle it they can get the main roads treated but the subdivision roads they really don't the good news is as a southerner wait for a day or two and the snows all melted because it's probably 48 degrees the next day the downside is for schools so it can vary the amount of snow can vary dramatically across uh, the county so while my area down here kind of in the south the southeast can get a trace amount or an inch or two of snow the other side of the county up near the lakes might get several inches and because those are back roads they've got a lot of trees they're not getting a lot of sun on them it warms up during the day cools down at night it freezes up it's icy they won't send school buses down so it's not uncommon for your streets to be clear, but schools are still closed for two, three, or five days. It's a little frustrating, but it happens all the time. Also, once you move down here and you become a southerner, you have to understand if there's a forecast of snow, you have to go to the grocery store and you have to buy milk and bread. Yeah, I don't know why, but we all do it. So just understand you need to do that too. Next up, is March, April, and May. So that's when you're moving into spring. So average temperatures during the day, 64, 73, and 80. We've got a school bus photo bombing me right now. Well, bye. So anyway, March, April, and May, 64, 73, and 80 degrees. So you can really see the temperature starting to rise up there. And spring in the south in Charlotte is absolutely beautiful. I've got a big tree here in front of me. The buds come out the leaves come out flowers start to come out it's kind of a joke down here that if you start to see flowers and leaf buds guaranteed you're going to have a hard freeze so once things start warming up all of a sudden you'll have a really hard freeze and try to kill everything but 
it's beautiful here in the south. The big downside of the spring here in the south is pollen. I read a statistic. I read an article one time which said that Charlotte is one of the worst places in the United States for seasonal allergies. And as someone who has allergies and a whole family who does, I completely agree. I can drive two hours in one direction and suddenly my allergies will clear up. But Charlotte, we have a ton of pollen that seems to just come to us from the mountains and from the south and everywhere else. And it's primarily pine pollen. So during the spring, you wash your car and the next day it's covered with yellow pollen. When it rains, you actually see trails of pollen all over the streets. It's pretty brutal, but it's kind of funny. But other than that, it's absolutely beautiful down here in the spring. Next up is June, July, and August. So you're moving into the heart of summer. Average temperatures 86, 90, and 88. Those are averages. So remember, we have humidity. This is a subtropical climate. So it might be 92 degrees, but it's very high humidity. So while the average might be, let's say, 90 in July, that means there's days where it's 97 day after day. And yes, it's brutally hot here. It's humid and there's no escaping it. So most of the time people in the south, they leave their house with air conditioning. They hop in their car with air conditioning. They drive to an office with air conditioning. And then they repeat the process, maybe stopping by the store on the way home with air conditioning. It's hot. But if you like the heat, you're going to like it here. And the fact is, is my experience has been there's a week or two where it's 95, 97, 98 every single day. You can't escape it. And that's where you finally are like, okay, I'm, I'm done. This is just brutal. The rest of the time, I'm somebody who likes the heat, so I kind of like it down here. If you like the heat, you're going to like it too. If you don't, it's kind of miserable. I'll go ahead and admit it. But it's only for a little while. You can certainly endure it to enjoy the other three seasons that we actually have. So next up, September, October, November, and that's where you start to cool down. It is September when I'm recording this. Like I said, it's about 92 today. Tomorrow's going to be 91. The day after that is going to be 79. That's why you end up an average of 82. It is very pretty out here. It's very, very humid today, uh, but it's very pretty. It's bright and sunshiny. It's a glorious day in the south. Um, but as you start to move into October and November, the trees start to change because we live so close to the mountains about two hours away it's beautiful foliage you can go out and see the the fantastic colors of autumn it really is beautiful in the south and one of the big selling points for people as i've mentioned before here in charlotte is the fact that we actually have four seasons you get spring you get fall you get a little bit of winter and then you get summer it's beautiful here in the fall i absolutely love it I don't like raking, I'll be honest with you. I don't really like that too much. And so finally that leaves us with December. So the average is 54 degrees. Mm, that sounds a little off to me. I remember many, many years of uh, it being Christmas time and wearing a t-shirt and shorts because it's 70 degrees outside. But I have also had Christmases where it's 38 degrees and incredibly cold, uh, but but it tends to be beautiful in December, nice and crisp. Sometimes you end up with these really warm periods uh, that kind of ruin the holidays. And I cannot remember maybe one time in my entire life where we had a white Christmas, uh, but it does happen. So if there's anything I can do to help, please reach out, let me know. I'm happy to be of assistance in any way I can. Other than that, Charlotte is a great place to live. And I look forward to any questions. Leave me a comment below. Appreciate it.